Did you know that electric vehicle batteries can help to develop renewable energies? Not many people know they can, and the key is called stationary storage. Stationary storage is a link between the energy from wind turbines or solar panels and the electrical grid that powers our home and the appliances in it. It solves the main problem with renewable energies, their intermittency. Wind turbines are great when the wind is blowing and solar panels are great when the sun is shining. But what do you do when the wind stops blowing or the sky is cloudy? There's another problem with wind and solar power. If the energy isn't used straight away, it's wasted. This is where stationary storage comes in. Here's how. Stationary storage systems keep electricity in battery packs. These battery packs are in large containers, which are sometimes called energy warehouses and connected to the national grid. The advanced battery storage containers from Mobilize can store up to 1 megawatt hour of electricity. That's more or less what an average household consumes in 3 months. This stored energy can be released when demand is higher than supply or when supply drops. Remember the intermittency problem. Stationary storage, in other words, balances electricity production and consumption. The second advantage of stationary storage is that it reuses batteries, for example, batteries from electric vehicles. When these batteries are no longer suitable for the automotive industry, they can still do a perfectly good job storing electricity, which is less well intense than moving vehicles. This is what Mobilize is doing with its advanced battery storage projects. Over time, this project will grow into Europe's largest stationary storage system using electric vehicle batteries. Its total capacity will reach 70 megawatt hours. It could power more than 5,000 homes for a day from its bases all over France and Germany.